All right, so now we're going to move these data into Excel and I'm going to show you something kind of cool. So in Excel, I have an add in called resampling stats. And so what it's going to allow me to do is take Take these data here, you can see these are our real data um, with our real means at the bottom and the actual, the real difference between the means. So on average, there's almost four, four more ant nests in fields compared to forests using the real data. And then I'm gonna take the data um, here, just the data itself, and I'm going to shuffle it. And I'm gonna place it over here. And now we have shuffled um, so I'm going to just make that very clear, shuffled uh, data. And you can see after we shuffle the data, we get a mean of 9.3 over on this side for the forest and a mean of 7.25 for fields. So we've got a flip-flop here and a mean difference of two ant nests. But this time, there's actually two more ant nests in the forest compared to the field. So this is a possibility just due to chance alone. So what's neat about resampling stats is I can actually ask it to do this. What I just did, shuffle the data. So take the real data, shuffle them over here, recalculate the two means and the difference. And if I click on this difference value and I ask it to do this uh, 10,000 times, we can see what happens. So watch it go, <laughs> isn't that cool? So it's shuffling the data, it's recalculating the means and it's calculating the difference between the two means, and it's gonna do this 10,000 times. It might take a few minutes, but imagine how long this would take to do by hand, right? So, okay, it took 19 seconds, and it says, do you wanna see the results sheet? Well, yes, I do. So here are the results, and we can create a histogram It takes a second. But look at this. Now we have a histogram. These are all possible random differences, right? Okay, so we can make it a little bigger. We can see this. Now remember our real difference, what was it? It was negative 3.75. That'd be way out here in the tail of this, this uh, histogram. And you can see it's approximating a normal distribution, a bell-shaped curve. So if our real value is way out here, then it's, it's an extreme, it's, it's a possible random value, but it's a very extreme random value. And we can actually add up the number of times that we get a value as big as 3.75 due to chance alone. Um, and so this is, this is how a resampling test works. It takes your real data, it shuffles them, and creates a distribution of possible random outcomes then you compare your actual value to the random values and you see how likely your value is due to chance alone. So we're gonna do that real fast. I'm basically just going to order the data um, to smallest to largest. Now a negative four, that's bigger, that's more extreme than our value. So basically I wanna add up how many times Okay, here's all the negative 3.75. So 233 times, so I'm just gonna write that here, 233 times we get a value more extreme in the negative direction, but what about in the positive direction? I wanna add up how many times we get something bigger than uh, positive 3.75 as well. Okay, here we go, 140. So, where did my two? equals 233 plus 140. This is, these are the numbers of times out of a thousand, or sorry, out of 10,000 that I got a value more extreme than my real value. So here's a cool thing. We say equals 373 divided by 10,000. That is 0 0.03, that is our p-value. How exciting is that? So. If we were to interpret this p-value, um, basically there's a very, very small likelihood that our value is due to just chance alone. And so we could reject our null hypothesis. If our p-value, if, uh, if p is less than 0 0.05, we can reject the null hypothesis. All right, so that's...